What's up everybody, Kinetic here, and welcome back to Lineage 2 Revolution. This is a free-to-play game currently only available for Korea on mobile devices, but there are rumors, maybe it's actually confirmed, I haven't actually found an official post yet, but it's being said that this game is going to be released globally, which means it will be localized in multiple languages sometime early. Uh, next year 2017 so if you would rather just wait uh, then try and play it now which may be the better idea uh, then that's good news for you if you're looking to download and play the game now if you can't wait then what you'll need to do is you'll need to probably find a website where you can download APK files an APK file is just basically an exe file if you you know understand what that is uh, <laughs> so you download it and it will you know go for example maybe to your download folder on your tablet or your phone or on your PC if you're downloading it from there and then just open it up and it starts up and installs just like a normal program would like for example on your your laptop or your PC or whatever right so if again if you're looking for that just Google like lineage 2 revolution APK and you'll probably get a list of all these different websites and just be careful like I, I mean I can't recommend you go to any place because I don't necessarily trust any of these places myself. I, I take a risk and we're all taking a risk really by going to these sites and, and downloading these uh, these files. But uh, that's just, you know, that's the way that it is right now with the Korea only version. Uh, so if you're looking for it, there you go. From this point on, I want to share with you the, the translations that I have figured out myself. I've got pages and pages of notes that I've been taking, uh, trying to figure out everything from the, the character creation uh, menus here to the main menus, the crafting, the equipment, the items and stuff like that. And let me tell you, there is a ton of stuff for me to, to try and translate. If I'm doing this myself, and I don't see anybody else doing it right now, um, I can't even find like a subreddit for, for this game. It's weird. Um, but I'm basically doing this all myself at, at this point, and it would take me weeks to, to get through all this stuff. So rather than waiting until, I don't know, sometime next year to actually give you all of the, the translations that I made, I thought I would go ahead and share with you what I can share with you for now that will get you started again through like for example the uh, this awesome character creator very very beautiful uh, I love being able to zoom in look at the detail man of these characters just unbelievable um, so yeah let's go ahead and we will get started with the uh, the character creator really quick just want to burn through this that way we can jump into the game and I can show you the, uh, the important points from there so what we have here is at this first screen what we are selecting is our race right the, uh, the race selection unfortunately doesn't have a, a gender option, so you're stuck with, for example, with the, the dark elves here. You're stuck with a male dark elf. Over here we have the, uh, the female elf, we have a, a male human, and then we have a female dwarf. These are the four current races that you can choose from. Now if we click on the button just below that, this is an interesting menu here that shows us uh, what the different classes are capable of and there's three different classes there is the warrior the ranger and the mage so there's warrior of course there's ranger and then down at the bottom we have mage now you may also notice that as i'm flipping through the different classes that we can choose from for all of the different races there's kind of a list of the type of equipment that they can use for example the the warrior can use sword and shield can also dual wield and also has a pole arm down here with the ranger, they can use daggers, they can use bows, and uh, and that's the type of equipment like armor that they can wear, right? Under that, and then for mages, it looks like they're stuck with staffs, uh, <laughs> which I guess is cool. And then we also have a, a skill demonstration down here at the bottom, these, uh, these circle looking fireball and then this wind or water looking icon. This is just a preview basically of showing you what the skills uh, look like and what they can do with their different respectable classes. So you can you can preview all of that from this menu here. All, so there's all four of the the races at the top, and then all three of the uh, the different classes or jobs, I believe, is how it uh, it was actually translated. Uh, the different jobs that uh, are here right now in the the game. So you've got that selected your race now here at the uh, the next menu again this is going to be where you actually do select before this was just a preview right but here is where you will select your different uh, your different job just below that we have a style this is strictly hairstyle um, 
I thought maybe it might be altering the face or something like that, but uh, I don't see anything else changing. And it did actually translate to hairstyles. And then down here we have basically like an action demonstration showing off like sort of their personality, I suppose, with uh, with how they move and how I'm they act. Bad. And then here in the middle, that's where you will you'll type in your character's name. And once you're done with that, and you've made your selection, if you if, so, if you want an elf mage, right, with this hairstyle or whatever then you enter the name and then click the green button and then you're ready to go all right guys so now we're actually in the game so i want to take you through really quickly like what's going on on the screen and also through the main menus so over here in the uh the upper left area you see that blue arrow that's pointing to that box this is going to be your auto questing uh pathing button right it's going to automatically travel you to your next destination where you may need to talk to an NPC, where you may need to go fight some enemies and stuff like that, and it will basically automate all of the combat for you as well, including your skills. Uh, you can still tap things if you want to, like for example, you can still move even while it's auto-fighting or auto-pathing, you can go ahead and interrupt it by uh, by moving the, uh, the virtual thumbstick around like that, but that's what that does. I believe this other tab here, that would be a, a party party selections because there's a plus sign there and I think if I press that then it would it's probably asking me do you want to invite people to uh, a party with you you know maybe from your friends list or maybe from uh, people nearby or something like that that's that's what that looks like there uh, obviously up at the the very top left that's my level red bar is my health blue bar is like my mana that I have down in the bottom right you can see that this is the uh, this this uh, bow and arrow icon, that's my basic attack for the weapon that I currently have equipped. Then there's the blue, kind of yellowish, green, those are all skills that I currently have equipped because of this weapon. All of your skills, or most of your skills I should say, are specific to the weapon that you're carrying, of course, specific to the class that you're playing. Just above there we have uh, some consumables, the red and blue, that's health and mana pots, and then there's a purple kind of... Uh, like scroll vial or something like that. It's a weird looking uh, consumable, but it is a consumable and it will allow you to basically have uh, additional power imbued into your weapons. I believe it's called Soul Dragon, if I remember correctly or something like that. And that's how it translated to me that uh, it imbues your weapons with uh, with more power for uh, a short duration. So probably useful against like dungeon bosses or, or something like that. Up in the uh, the very top right, we have obviously a mini map, and right next to that, we have some immediate shortcuts for things like, for example, there's a, an envelope that would take us to the mail shop, would take us to the uh, the cash shop, right? And uh, then we have a bag icon that would be our character's inventory, where all of our equipment, our weapons, our armor, our consumables, and stuff like that can be accessed very quickly. And um, and from just to the left of that bag icon, that's going to open up the main menu where you can access pretty much everything from here. Now, with each of these different icons, there's <laughs> there's a sub menu with even more icons and I'm going to be honest, I'm I don't know if I can be asked to uh <laughs> to translate this stuff anytime soon. I'm going to try my best to to go through all of these menus and and uh and translate them to figure out exactly what they mean, but uh, I'm just going to give you like what the main icon is and maybe uh you know something underneath that. So for this first one, this first one from the top left, the, the kind of Trojan uh, helmet looking dude icon that's your character right so if we click on the one just underneath that same icon that's going to take you to your character sheet showing you what equipment you have and stuff like that now take a look towards the uh, the bottom there there's like a one two and three this looks to me like we can have uh, different sets or different kind of uh, character builds for uh, for different equipment different weapons and stuff like that and um, there doesn't seem to be a button other than here in order to do that so you can't change combat like loadouts in the middle of a fight I don't think uh, maybe you can maybe by coming to this menu I don't know I haven't tried but it doesn't seem like it's made to uh, to be easy like that for you to like eat quickly switch like maybe from a melee to a ranged uh, kind of setup or something like that but it is nice that they allow you to have kind of different loadouts like that uh, next to that icon the hand looking icon that is your skill menu for your class so you can see the green arrow and the the yellow uh, arrow looking icons those are again based on the bow that i have equipped now the blue one i'm not entirely sure where that comes from because no matter what one of these uh weapon menus i 
I select, that's always there, isn't it? It 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 kind of makes me think that it's a racial skill. It could be a racial skill uh, because I selected a uh, an elf for this class. Maybe each of the ra the different races have their own unique skills. That's my guess, anyway. Uh, and the way that you can go about this is from here. Here is the uh, the bow and arrow menu. I've got uh, currently the the blue and and the other uh, weapon specific skills, and just underneath the the skill icon, right? For example, uh, the uh, the blue one there. There's a button. If I press it, it will unassign the skill from whatever slot that it's equipped on. It was here, right? Now it's not there anymore. So if I press it again, it's asking me where do you want to put it, and I want to put it there. Uh, so that's how you can unassign and and change out the uh, the different skills that you have. Here is the uh, the dagger. So same thing there. This menu underneath here, I'm not entirely sure. Actually, I have no idea what this is. <laughs> um, this looks like something that I'm probably going to to unlock later. The, uh, if I haven't said that already, there is so many different systems, so many different features in this game that you don't get access to immediately. You have to go through the different story chapters to be able to, to unlock, and I don't think I'm ready. Uh, it doesn't seem like I'm supposed to be using that just yet. And uh, so the next one over, the uh, the axe and the, the hammer icon here, this is uh, items. So there's that same bag from before, that's our inventory. If we click that, then it's gonna take us there. Uh, uh, next to that, the anvil icon, this is our crafting menu. So over on the left hand side, you can see all of these different tabs. And I've translated these out, but I don't actually know what they, they mean because most of these are, like I said, um, features that I, I can't actually use it. So for the second one down, if I click it, it's basically telling me that I have to complete the story chapter 1-10 in order to be able to unlock this feature. So if I were to uh, press the gray button there, then it's gonna show me the, the kind of world map and, and the quest line, if, it, if you will, of uh, you know where I'm at in the progression and, and how close I am to unlocking that feature. So from the top down, I'm just going to read these off to you, how they translated from Korean to English. The first one is level up. This one, obviously, I can do. Second one down is promotion. Third one is synthesis. Fourth is reinforce. Five is strengthening properties. Number six, change options. And number seven is transcendence. Now you might have noticed, wait, there's one missing. Yeah, there's another one down here at the bottom, which um, again, I have no idea what this is. It, it It's interesting how when you select certain uh, tabs, it will automatically select another one of your inventory tabs. So notice that when I changed from uh, the top one, which is the level up menu, then it went from the very first tab on the right hand side, which is showing all my different weapons. Uh, down here, it's showing off this uh, this crafting material, that uh, that kind of gold bar looking icon right there, must be used for some kind of, I don't know, reinforcement or, or enhancement or something like that. Obviously, um, I don't have the proper material, doesn't want to use that. But what we can do from here, right? Uh, this is the level up system, very common in, in these RPGs nowadays. So you select the weapon that you want to enhance and then you select materials or spare weapons that uh, that you are willing to sacrifice in order to level up the the weapon that you want to be more powerful. So for example, I've already done this before. I've got a, a now plus one or level two green A rank bow. What I can do is I can select these, uh, these materials. These, these came from questing and oh nice. So two of those um, I believe this is like weapon abrasive or something like that it translated to basically a material for leveling up your weapons I can uh, select both of those and then down uh, underneath that it says uh, 4,000 I'm guessing gold go ahead and click that the blue button would be accept and now it's Going ahead and it's leveling up my my weapon. So my weapon gets more powerful. Woohoo! Cool. Uh, I I imagine that you can do this of course with your your armor uh, from perhaps a, a different, uh, a different one of these uh, these menus here somewhere. I don't know. Uh, I'm still I'm still doing a lot of this trial and error <laughs> just like that uh, to figure it out. So I think that's the item menu. I don't know what this 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 shard looking thing is. I don't have it unlocked. It's grayed out. The third one over. Let's move on. The third one over is challenge menu. So the uh, the the kind of parchment and the uh, the quill there. This is. Uh, what we just looked at. This is basically our story progression menu here. And then there's a blank one and then there's a uh, a star menu here. This is actually the achievements uh, that we have 
and the progression that we're making through each of these achievements. Notice the red dots. The red dots are really important, by the way, because they will they'll point you to where you can get more goodies for all sorts of different things. It may be your daily login reward, or it may be, like it is here, kind of reward for uh, your achievements. So down here, we've got a red dot taking me to this tab, and you can see there's a full progression bar there in red, and a blue button I can click, and there we go. I got that. So next tab you can see there so I've collected all of that stuff woo hoo uh, the present looking box that is the event is that right no this yeah it's the event uh, <laughs> it's the event menu so I think that this is what we were just talking about actually like for example your daily uh, login stuff I have no idea what's going on here let's click the blue button and find out Nothing, okay. <laughs> I, then I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, next one over. I have no idea what this is. It looks like... Yeah, trial and error. Achievement unlocked. Woohoo! I have no idea what I just did, but hey. It, actually, it looks like I unlocked some uh, some new features by, by doing that, possibly. Cool. I think I just collected some stuff. I, I don't know what it was from, but I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> and then it looks like this could be our our daily login stuff here. Hang on, there was another tab there. Let's click on it. Like I said, these these red dots are really important. So just go ahead and, and click on it. There we go. So we collected. Uh, I, I guess that's day one rewards for for being logged in, which is strange because I was playing yesterday, wasn't I? I don't know. Maybe maybe they just started a new calendar or something. The next icon over, which uh, for some reason looks like a bowl sitting down next to a couple of gold bars, but is actually a bag uh, next to two gold bars. This is the, uh, the the cash shop, right? So from here you can, if you happen to live in Korea or have Korean currency, I suppose, and somehow can can get your uh, get yourself able to to spend Korean money, then here is where you would do it. And we've also got some freebies that uh, that we can unlock. Uh, from time to time it seems uh, there was a quest earlier that brought me here and I opened up a chest and I got some cool reward and then here's another one these red dots man these red dots are important there we go click that and I got some boots all right next one over the last one on the top right now that uh, that cog this is the uh, the system settings menu now this is also uh, a menu kind of similar that you can access from the very main login screen but it doesn't have as many tabs I think it just has this one tab that uh, that you can you can look at and from here I've translated all of these so you, you've got the uh, the list on the uh, the left hand side there the first one is the playback speed I'm not entirely sure what that means I think it has something to do with the, the speed of which text is is spelled out for you like instead of animated slowly at the pace at which maybe they're talking it just maybe at higher speeds instantly uh, does it by selecting like over here or something like that the uh, the next one down that is your graphical settings so graphical quality I've got it set to I'm guessing that's high and then the next one to the right of that would be ultra I've I've dropped it down a notch because even with this Nvidia shield tablet like I still suffer from uh, lag every once in a while and it may be server related for all I know but I, I, I don't I don't actually necessarily see that that huge of a difference anyway so I'm just dropping it down for uh, for the sake of I don't know the hell of it whatever the third one down that is the uh, the effects quality so with spell effects and and melee you know kind of special effects coming off of that or, or whatever the uh, the higher that's gonna be the more uh, you know processing power that's going to be intensive. And the last one at the bottom is, if I remember this correctly, it's characters displayed. So there can be a lot of characters displayed on the screen at, uh, at one time. And again, depending on your device, depending on your connection and things like that, having a boatload of characters displayed on the screen could cause you severe lag and all sorts of other problems. I don't need ever to see every single one of your faces. Uh, so I've decided to drop that down by 50%. This other stuff here is is just, this is probably, it looks like audio. I, I can see master, BGM, FX, voice. Yeah, so this is probably the, the audio menu. Uh, I'm not going through and translating all of this stuff right now. I have no idea what this is. Absolutely no idea what that is. I don't know what that is. And this looks like your social menu or something like that. But that's, again, 
There's so many sub menus to these menus, man. Just I I can't I can't <laughs> I just can't do that all that right now. So the next one down, the bottom left. This is the the dungeon uh, the dungeon menu. Now this first one I only recently just unlocked, and I believe these other ones here. Yeah. So this is chapter one dash nine dungeon that uh, that I'll unlock, and so on and so forth. Right. These are actually repeatable. That's why we have a menu for it. Is um, it was actually like a boss encounter. It wasn't so much like a like a dungeon like I was expecting, or as the name suggests. But if I were to go ahead and click on this, what it's doing here is it's displaying the uh, the boss that that I encountered on this location. And what I can do is I can repeat fighting this guy for a chance at some rewards. Right. So you can see there's that kind of goldish bar looking. Thing that's highlighted right there I guess that's the reward for uh, repeating this uh, this boss and that left column is the the difficulty settings you can see a number of things are changing as I change the uh, the tabs here we go from normal to probably hard to brutal like suicidal I don't know <laughs> uh, so there there's that uh, and then we have the other tabs here at the top this is obviously other bosses that I have yet to uh, to encounter now the next one over from there, that is the battlefield menu. I don't have this unlocked, that's why it's grayed out, but I think that's probably going to be our PvP menu. The next one over is the clan menu, or guild menu. I don't know what that says. <laughs> uh, but I, from looking at this, we can maybe choose a different faction. I haven't actually messed with this yet, but uh, yes, there is a, a clan slash guild system here in the game the next one over with the uh, the two heads this is your friend menu like people that are it looks like people that are nearby maybe uh, people that are requesting to be my friend maybe that's what these are here that's probably that's probably what this is the red points you to to things that you can you can obtain so it looks like I can I can take three friends more than likely by pressing that blue button right there that yeah, looks like a, a friend acceptance <laughs> uh, kind of result to me. So there's that. And then the, the next one over with the uh, the two scales. This is the exchange menu. I have no idea what this is. I, I mean, it looks to me like I can exchange blue gems, however I get those. And, and I think that those may come, not exclusively, but I think that those come from the uh, the cash shop for some kind of materials. I'm not sure what the, these pinkish looking uh, purple rocks are, but that's something. Uh, we've got other menus here. I think this is a, I almost want to say this seems like an auction house to me because now we're looking at uh, my inventory. I, I'm not sure. I haven't actually gone through and translated, but we can type in and search for stuff. It looks like we've got different menus here for different stuff. Let's let's click that. Okay, wow. Yeah, there's all sorts of stuff that it looks like we can um, we can sort by quality as well. Yeah, this looks like some. It, it seems to me like an auction house system, I think. Uh, and we can trade blue gems for for materials and and other things here in the game with that, which that seems really really cool. Uh, so there's obviously some kind of economy in the game, and I think that that's a very 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 big perk for a, a game like this. And then finally on the bottom right, this is the ranking menu. So this no doubt is related to uh, how badass you are, how badass your guild is, maybe in PvP activities, PvE activities, guild uh, war maybe activities, who knows. Uh, there's still so much more for me to, to go through and try and understand with this game, but I think that is long enough that, I mean, that's more or less everything that I've managed to translate uh, in, in my in my spare time at this point and what I've uh, I've seen so far in in the game. Yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it wasn't the most action packed, certainly, but um, it uh, it wasn't really meant to be. It was just here to share with you, like I said, the things that I've managed to to translate up to this point and uh, and give you. A uh, like a a more comfortable and more confident 
stepping ground if you decide to uh, to try your luck at uh, at downloading and, and getting this game to work for you. If you can't wait for the uh, the rumored global release, then uh, yeah, there you go. There's uh, there's a nice little hand and a head start for you in understanding what the hell all of these crazy looking symbols on the screen mean. And if you're looking for more tips on uh, not just you know not just information about translations or whatever, I'm going to hammer this game pretty hard over over the rest of this month and, and into the next month in understanding these systems as best as I can so that way I can share with you guys like again you know maybe translations or, or just helpful uh, guides as far as understanding what does what and how to make uh, how to make the most out of uh, your time in the game and we're in some kind of sweet boss fight it's auto playing for me right now but I really need to pay attention yep oh wait I think we interrupted him Notice the uh, the red, uh, yep, that right there, that red sign on the ground let me know that he's about to do some kind of really powerful attack, but he is no match for this bow, man. <laughs> An A rank green bow that's been leveled up is pretty freaking powerful, and we made quick work of him. There we go. Quest, uh, quest complete, there's the reward, you can see the, the XP, the gold, and I got a couple of potions for uh, for my effort. That's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Again, I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope it was informational and, and helpful for you. Or just, you know, if you're just going to go ahead and wait for the, the global release, uh, you know, a nice preview as to the kinds of things that you can expect from this game when we hopefully do get, in fact, a, an English or whatever language you, best suits you uh, for this game. And uh, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below. Click the like button to support these Lineage 2 Revolution videos here on the channel and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next video. Thanks again for watching. This is Kinetic and I'll see you next time.